Hello Gems! Today we're here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. We want to look at the Christmas decorations and have some lunch at Roaring Fork. Let's go! This lobby at Christmas time is absolutely amazing. The tree is right up into the rafters. There are no pictures that do this place justice. And then in the lobby, there are garlands on all of the floors. The Christmassy feel in here is just the best. The log cabin atmosphere and all of the Christmas decorations are just perfect together. I love coming here at Christmas. And I just saw above the door are these really pretty lighting um, fixtures, not lighting fixtures, decorations, Christmas decorations. They're reindeer and trees and they're just so beautiful. I'm just standing here taking all of it in. One thing I absolutely love about this tree are the ornaments. Because this is a lodge, their theming is all Western and kind of um, more spiritual things here. And they are just beautiful. You have animals on the tree. There are some maybe giraffes. There's a reindeer, if you can see that. Let me get up close to it. That's a reindeer. These are all over the tree. But then there's this one up here of two, I think, buffalo, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. But they're like sparring. I think that one's really cool. I don't know why that caught my eye, but it's just, it's just really weird. <laughs> weird and different, but it's cool. So I'm over here on the other side of the tree and I'm just noticing the uh, teepees in here. And then there's also over here is a bear ornament as well, which I think is really, really cool and really pretty. There are these super cute holiday Mickey and Minnie decorations in here. Uh, I just love everything about this resort. I just noticed over here there's this wooden thing, I guess. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to represent, but if you know, let me know in the comments. So this resort also sells some holiday treats. I'm actually here really early and unfortunately they do not open until 2, so I probably won't stay that long to try them out, but they do look pretty good. They have this gingerbread house and they have some cookies in the back they've got like a mickey sugar cookie what looks like a gingerbread cookie and then there's a maple leaf cookie and i really really hope that that is actual maple because that's one of my favorite flavors and then there's also like a like a footprint cookie in the back, I'm not so sure if you can see that, but it looks like bear prints, I think. And then you have your kind of standard stuff that they have at most hotels, the peppermint bark. And then they have what looks like a Linzer style cookie that is a Christmas tree. Here is a list of everything that they have here. And yeah, I was pretty much right about most of the things. And I think if I were to get something here, it would definitely be that Linzer cookie. I think that that looks really good. It's a hazelnut Linzer cookie filled with raspberry jam and white snow sugar. That sounds pretty good. And they also have some hot chocolate and hot apple cider. And I have spotted a merch display here in the lobby. They have this advent calendar that I've always wanted, but then they have Christmas doonies. They have the bag and the matching wallet. 
I have a very large collection of Doonies. I don't really need more, but goodness, I want more. So I have made it over to Roaring Fork, which is one of my favorite places to eat here. So let's go have some lunch. I have placed my mobile order, so I'm just sitting here waiting for it. And I forgot to mention that I met a really, really cool cast member on the boat. So as a pass holder, I can't park at hotels that I'm not staying at, right? Or that I don't have like a dining or spa or, you know, plan, right? So I parked at the TTC. I took the boat to Magic Kingdom. And, and then I took that boat to Wilderness Lodge. So that's how I arrived here today. But the captain of the boat if you're watching this thank you so much it was such a pleasure to meet you and talk to you all about my camera and everything anyway just hi to you <laughs> i forgot to mention that we're expecting a tropical storm later today so i was pretty brave in even coming out but i came out early so it wasn't supposed to be super rainy yet but it is now it isn't like tropical storm rain just yet but i just wanted to say december a tropical storm what is this our rainy season ends like at the end of october or early november so this is really weird i don't know i don't love it but i'm still gonna sit outside under the umbrella and enjoy my time First up, I got the barbecued brisket and burnt ends. This is served with a potato hash, fiery coleslaw, and cornbread. Let's see how this tastes. First up, let's try the brisket. <laughs> that is so good, and it tastes a lot like um, Regal Eagle, and that is, in itself is just perfect. The sauce with it is nice and spicy, a little sweet and tangy, and the brisket is cooked absolutely perfectly. It just melts in your mouth. The texture is, you know, just really, really tender. Very, very good quality meat as well, which is something that I am starting to notice more. Some places around here, their meats just aren't the same quality as others, but this one is definitely just a 5 out of 5 tiaras. Next up, let's try the burnt end. Mm. Mm. That was really, really good, but not as good as the brisket, I would say. I mean, just from the name alone, burnt ends. These are the I guess parts of the meat that are on the outside and so are charred more and while that was really good for me the texture is a little bit like I don't know too dry but the flavor is amazing I mean I'm a meat and potatoes kind of gal so any kind of brisket or steak or any meat in general I just love so um, no complaints here obviously um, but yeah for the the burnt ends I might give that more of like a three out of five just because of the texture but I do still like it but for me it's just a little meh I wanted to say if you do enjoy burnt ends Regal Eagle has the best the best macaroni and cheese with burnt ends on top and I think it also had an onion ring as well and that is one of the things that I love the absolute most so if you're at Epcot head on over Regal Eagle burnt ends mac and cheese or something like that it's called anyway it's really really good next let's try the cornbread cornbread isn't the best it's a little bit dry but I had the brilliant idea of doing a little hack I'm going to combine the cornbread with the sauce and see how that tastes mm. 
that's it. Yeah, so much better. <laughs> I had another food hack idea. I'm gonna try the brisket with the sauce and the cornbread. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so now you know what to do with dry cornbread. That was amazing. I feel like a genius. Cornbread mixed with barbecue is just one of my favorite things. Unfortunately, this cornbread was pretty dry, so it is not my favorite. But if you put it with other things, it's actually really, really good. Just because the cornbread was a little dry, actually, it wasn't a little dry, it was pretty dry. So it was just okay. I'm gonna give that one a three out of five TRs by itself. But when you combine it with either the sauce or a meat, then it, it's a five out of five. No worries there. Now let's try the potato hash that comes on the side. This has diced potatoes and what looks like a red pepper and also some onion. I'm excited for this. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that was really good. Unfortunately, it is pretty stone cold right now because I just spent a really long time taking pictures of everything and all of that, so if you're ever interested in making videos like this, you'll learn pretty quickly you're gonna eat cold food. But the potatoes were cooked really well. They were nice and crispy, even though they've been sitting here quite a while. I love onion. I love red peppers. Something that I have at home a lot is just some chicken and peppers and onions. So this is right up my alley, five out of five tiaras. Next, I got their holiday exclusive treat, which is the peppermint igloo. This is a white chocolate igloo with white chocolate peppermint mousse and dark chocolate cake. Yes, please, this sounds amazing. Let's try it. Let's see how this tastes. This is so incredibly good. I just wanted to show you kind of the inside shot of that. You can see the chocolate cake and the mousse on top. And I mean, everything is just perfect with this holiday dessert. That was amazing, if you couldn't tell by my expression. The inside has that chocolate cake that is not milk chocolate, which is really, really important and then the peppermint with it cuts the bitterness of the dark chocolate and is just the perfect pairing. I'm trying to think of what the peppermint flavor tastes like. It's almost kind of like a candy cane, but not quite. It isn't as um, potent as that. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of these little like candies that my grandmother used to have, I guess. Little like peppermint, um, Christmas candies. I have no idea what they're called, but first of all, let's talk about the style. How cute is this thing? The little snowman on front, I think is made out of some kind of candy. I'm not exactly sure and I don't want to eat it because it's too cute, but the igloo imprint on top is absolutely perfect. And there are little like um, snow, snow frosting decorations around the sides and yeah this thing is beautiful it's very artistic it's hard to eat because someone spent a good amount of time making it and it is beautiful but it's also tasty so yeah i highly recommend this so this one actually gets a platinum tiara that's how much i love this i love chocolate and peppermint together and when the peppermint is a nice light flavor and it's not, you know, overpowering like a mouthwash or a toothpaste, it's absolutely perfect. That is this Platinum Tiara. Next, I got the Bear Moose. And this thing was so cute. It is not a holiday exclusive, so I believe it's here all the time. I'm not sure though. It was not on the menu. It was not on mobile order either. And so I don't have a description of it, um, but I'll tell you from the ingredients list. It's a cake with some mousse, 
raspberry puree and crispy pearls, I think. So let's give this a taste. I really like this, it's good. I don't like it as much as the Peppermint Snowman, but now that I have it cut open, I can see that the inside has a yellow cake, I think. Maybe it's a white cake, I'm not exactly sure. But then it has the raspberry puree on top. I don't think it's actually a puree. I think it's more of a mousse. This, it kind of, I, I assumed it had chocolate mousse, but it's more of a raspberry mousse cake topped with chocolate, but it's, it's still really good. I just kind of wish that the raspberry portion was more of like a jelly or jam consistency. The puree slash mousse consistency reminds me of something I don't like and I, I can't put my finger on it. I, I have no idea. Maybe it's like an ice cream or something, but however, even though I don't love the raspberry puree, when it is combined with the other things, the cake and the chocolate topping and the crispy pearls on the outside, I think these are the crispiest pearls that I've ever had actually so all of those together are actually pretty good but i would give this like a four out of five tiaras while i do like it i mean it's it's okay i would eat it again um but yeah not my favorite this cake is the cutest this is why i picked it up Look at the little bear, his little eyes and his mouth and his nose and his chocolate ears on top. Actually, I haven't eaten the ears yet. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. This seems to have a little crunch to it, which is interesting. I don't know. But yeah, there's one piece of milk chocolate paired with a piece of dark chocolate and yeah they're amazing love it so cute I forgot to try the coleslaw that came with the brisket so I'm gonna try that now let's see how it tastes That coleslaw was really interesting. It was spicy, which I was not expecting. Although after I read the description of the entree, it does say spicy coleslaw. So I don't know why I wasn't expecting it, but it was a really nice surprise because if you like spicy food, there's not a lot of it here for you at Disney. So the fact that they added so much spice to coleslaw really pleases me, I would say. It was really good. The sauce was excellent. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. The cabbage was really fresh and crunchy. Nothing bad to say about that. Five out of five tiaras. Roaring Fork is one of my absolute favorite quick service at any resort. I have come here probably more than I've eaten at any other resort. Um, and just the atmosphere, their food is amazing. Try their cupcakes, actually. I've had their s'mores um, cupcake, which is amazing. And yeah, the prices are pretty reasonable, I would say. This resort overall, just take in the atmosphere, the beauty. Okay, it's not so beautiful today because it's raining, but usually it's just stunning. It's interesting that I've actually never stayed at the Wilderness Lodge. My mom has a couple times hi mom and um yeah so like i've seen the rooms and all of that they are absolutely beautiful i should stay here at some point let me know if you would like me to do that and show a resort tour that was a really fun day here at the wilderness lodge my lunch was amazing and you know as i said roaring fork one of my favorite quick service at any 
Disney Resort and yeah, everything here, the Christmas decorations, the Christmas tree are absolutely beautiful. But if you enjoyed this, please do like, subscribe and share. I really appreciate it. And until next time, have a magical day.